Hello, my Samoras, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, we're... a great British bake-off again? <laughs> Full sentences. Today, we're baking again because we've got a special occasion that demands baking. At least this time. I mean, I haven't done it the other times. Oh, well, you might have heard by the original audio that you just got to witness that... Oh my god, my Italian hand. I need to relax. <laughs> my hands are so Italian. That two days ago for you now was the release date of Naomi's new single, which is three days from now. This time, I decided I wanted to bake a little cake to celebrate. Also because it's basically Valentine's Day now, and yeah, Valentine's Day... It's just not a thing in this household. <laughs> I mean, it's not really a thing in Germany, I don't think, anyway. But yeah, in this household, we're like... Mm. <laughs> and that also demands or deserves celebrating. So basically, we're gonna bake an anti-Valentine's Day cake. Oh, fuck yourself, we know, I usually like baking, I just always struggle on camera for some reason and then off camera I don't really bake anymore because I do that often enough on camera. For that reason, I want to make something that I've never made before, <laughs> which is a red velvet cake. Tonight is the night, today is the day. I'm making song! We've got a lot to do because obviously we need the cake, the frosting, the buttercream. And the number one in the chart. Yeah, that. Then I was also thinking of adding like some sort of berry filling. We also have to make some decoration. And today we're gonna make all of it. <laughs> and tomorrow we're gonna assemble. And we're gonna get started with the cake. Here is what you need for the red velvet cake. 360 grams of cake flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, two tablespoons of unsweetened natural cocoa powder. It's just cocoa powder, I don't know about the rest. And half a teaspoon of salt. I don't feel to be using my Hello Kitty <laughs> bowl that you sighed over that I bought it. We don't need another bowl, we have so many. I'm baking a cake for you. You be quiet. 150 grams of unsalted butter, softened. 400 grams of granulated sugar. This is less than that because, I mean, we're gonna add buttercream and stuff and yeah. 240 grams of vegetable oil. Four large eggs, which I'm gonna separate as well in a second. A tablespoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon of distilled white vinegar. Of course, we need red food coloring. And lastly, we're gonna need 240 milliliters of buttermilk. Everything at room temperature. Took me a while to get there. <laughs> First step, always, we're gonna mix the gray ingredients together. Now, let's beat the butter and sugar together. Medium high speed until combined for about a minute. Now we shall add our wet ingredients and beat on high for two minutes. So this is our egg yolks, the buttermilk. Do not add the buttermilk yet. No one's gonna know. The vegetable oil, the vanilla extract, and the vinegar. Now it's finally time for not only the buttermilk, but also our dry ingredients. So we're gonna alternate between the dry ingredients and the buttermilk and add them to our wet ingredients. Don't forget the food coloring. Why should they not forget? You don't forget. Um, well, I'm putting it in now. Looks like blood. Put that to the side and beat your egg whites. Now we obviously have to fold our egg whites into our cake batter. Gently. Now we bake them for about 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. While the cake is in the oven, we can continue making other stuff. Once the cake is done, I'm just gonna take it out and put it somewhere to rest and cool until tomorrow. I'm gonna make a strawberry filling because that's really easy and I don't wanna make the buttercream yet. I hate making buttercream. Here I've got about 140 grams of strawberries and 50 grams of sugar and I'm just gonna let that simmer for about maybe five minutes. 
And then I'm gonna take three tablespoons off of whatever we will create with this and I'm gonna strain it through a sieve so that later on we might add that to our buttercream. And then I'll see you when we make the buttercream. Gonna try one of the muffins. I don't know. It's very silky and smooth though, like I was told. I don't know about the flavor, I, I don't know. Anyway. Let's make the buttercream. We're just gonna make a simple American buttercream. I don't know how much of it we're actually gonna be using because we do have our cream cheese frosting, which we're actually gonna make tomorrow after all because tomorrow is the day of the assemble and according to the internet, it's best to make cream cheese frosting on the day that you use it. So I'm just gonna make the basic mass of our buttercream and then tomorrow because I have to beat it again, I think I will color it tomorrow as well because our cake is gonna be red, pink, and white. I've just got 250 grams of butter and 250 grams of powdered sugar. I'm now just gonna beat the butter on its own for like a couple of minutes so that it becomes very white, hopefully. I do want white buttercream and therefore I'm gonna have to beat the butter for quite a while. Alas, the buttercream is done. We can make some decorations now. This we're just gonna refrigerate. I'm gonna color this tomorrow. Y'all wanna make some decorations? <laughs> I do. I had a lot of thoughts, actually. We're just gonna make a broken heart. A heart that is broken. And then I was also thinking, because obviously this song is called San Valentine, to have like an arrow shooting through the heart, smaller broken hearts, to like place around the cake. Luckily I still- luckily, <laughs> luckily I still have some fondant. I feel so emo with this. <laughs> it's also very annoying. But you guys liked my straight hair last week, and so I had to straighten it today as well because I'm a people pleaser. <laughs> So people, I hope you're pleased. First things first, not only am I the realist, but we're also gonna have to color this red. Ugh, I'm bleeding. This looks so real. <laughs> Fuck love. Fuck love, give me diamonds. Fuck love, give me diamonds. I'm not gonna add more red to this fondant because I actually am gonna paint this fondant. Guys, love sucks. I fucking hate love. Best to make that as early as possible because obviously we need this to dry. And you already put in these wooden dowels. Now we get to paint. I've got this food coloring gel. Ooh, yeah. Now we have to attach them to our heart. That way we've got the San Valentine theme. I'll put them in, whatever. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make little hearts. I guess broken hearts. And then I'm also gonna paint them and leave them to dry. With that, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, today's the big day. We get to assemble our cake. And I just realized I probably shouldn't be wearing white in front of white. I was ripping some Rihanna. Mm. Fuck Rihanna. Before we get to assemble, obviously, we need stuff to assemble it with. We've got our cake, we've got the buttercream for later, but now we need our cream cheese frosting, which I hope is gonna work out because cream cheese in Germany is something different to cream cheese in America. Let's hope and pray. I mean, we basically just have to whisk, 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 and hope that it turns into a great consistency. All of the ingredients are room temperature. We've got 450 grams of cream cheese, 170 grams of unsalted butter. Well, technically you're supposed to use 660 grams of powdered sugar. I hope that my frosting will have a great enough consistency, even if I use less sugar than that, because 660 grams? I don't know about that. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and just a pinch of salt. First step is to just whisk the cream cheese and butter together. After about a minute, we're gonna add the rest. <laughs> I guess in the recipe, they add all of the sugar at once. Beat it for low for about 30 seconds and then on high for another three minutes. That is so much sugar. 
Tricky. I've got my cakes here, and I've got the cream cheese frosting, but I will still have to cut off the top to make it even and straight. Put in a little bit of our frosting on the bottoms so that our cake doesn't move around too much. Cool. Now we do have a lot of frosting <laughs> because a cake is so small. My frosting may be a little bit too liquid. Now we're gonna give it a swirl of our strawberry. Probably more than a swirl because we can really only put this in the middle. This will all ooze out once we know. Not trying to make this layer too thick because we're gonna get a bit of buttercream on top still, so. <laughs> I wanna cover this with pink buttercream, so. It doesn't really matter that the strawberry's leaking out. I don't think I can do more than that, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to let this cool for one to probably two hours because this is very liquid. Rarely have I felt like I'm wasting oxygen as much as during these last two hours, but we made it. <laughs> My buttercream is looking very good though. I'm now just gonna give it another whip for a couple of minutes so that it becomes smooth again. And then I'm gonna separate it. I don't need that much white. I do wanna cover the cake itself in a pinkish color and then also take a bit off of it and turn it red. So I'm just quickly dipping it in here. <gasps> This is doing its thing. Wow, yes, it's becoming so smooth. I'm running out of patience. It just has to be dry now <laughs> or hard enough. My decoration is like drying, but it's drying very slowly. So I'm not sure if we're gonna have a cake topper. Here we are. I do want to start this off with a little bit of font. I want to write some other lyrics. Like I could just put San Valentine on top. It's not enough anti-Valentine's Day for me. So I'm just gonna say go fuck yourself. Like go fuck yourself San Valentine. For that. I tried to make these mini, uh, what you might call it, you know what it is. Y'all already know who I am. I've already tested it with my pink fondant. I definitely noticed that my hole <laughs> wasn't big enough. Go fuck yourself, San Valentine. I feel like you don't have to be able to read it properly. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it already <laughs> fits fucking new perfectly. Nails. Wow. I'm sorry, but how the fuck did that work so nicely? Like this is exactly how I wanted it and then the yourself. What the fuck happened there? I did not do anything differently. I'm over it. I wanna make like little swirly swirls on the border. Yeah, that's exactly how I envisioned it. Very entertaining probably. I'm just in concentrated mode. <laughs> Yay! I don't know. I feel like something's missing. I mean, I'm not sure about the big cake topper, but I do have these small little broken hearts. They look like candy. We can just pretend they're candles. That is all we can do today, guys. The cake topper will have to go on tomorrow, if at all. Buttercream. <laughs> Ew! So red now. Hey! <laughs> That's gonna be fun. We did it. The broken heart might be a bit big, but took way too long not to put it in. my nephew filming and this is the end of the video because I realized I never did an outro. The cake was really yum, everyone loved it. Now I gotta finish editing this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!